Pro Football Weekly is taking a look at the top free agents around the league. Right now we're looking at Saints quarterback Drew Brees. By all indications, he's going to be back with the Saints next year, whether it's because of the franchise tag or they work out a deal. We've known that for a long time, but what's taking so long for them to get a deal done? You know, I know everybody looks at Drew Brees and the Saints and they look at him as two peas in a pod, a, a, a marriage that's worked out so well for both sides. You know, why is this taking so long? It's a big deal. It's a deal that's going to make him one of the highest paid players in the league. And while he means so much to that franchise and to that city, this is still a business and things don't come together so easily. Drew Brees, this is his one chance probably to get a big time contract that's going to make him one of these top paid players in the league. He made good money in his last deal. Wasn't on the level with some of these other guys. And he still wants to try to do this in a way that works for the team so that they can bring back some guys uh, that they want to keep this offseason. We saw that the Colts gave Peyton Manning a ton of money, and then we know all about how he was hurt. He's now still due a lot of money if they decide to keep him on the roster. Are there any concerns with giving big money to Brees, who's also had injury concerns before he came to the Saints? Well, it's interesting that Tom Cotton is Drew Brees' agent, the same agent that negotiated that deal for Peyton Manning last year. Um, he's been through this kind of thing before. I think it went a little smoother maybe last time around with Peyton Manning. There didn't seem to take quite as long to get something worked out. Um, in, in this situation, you know, there is a buyer beware anytime you're talking about giving a, any player this amount of money, freak things happen. Uh, but Drew Brees does not seem to have any kind of you know, pre-existing condition like the neck where you worry so much. He did have the, the shoulder injury, a, a serious injury, um, back in the in two, before uh, the 2006 season. He hasn't seemed to have any issues with that since then. He's, he's moved on, and it seems to be in pretty good health. He seems to be a guy who's, who's getting better, not wearing down. Yeah, it's well documented. The Dolphins had the concerns with his shoulder. He ends up signing with the Saints. He really hasn't had a problem with it since then. You talked a little bit about giving kind of a hometown discount or maybe letting the Saints do things with the contract that allow them to bring more money in or have more money available for the other guys. You definitely see that happening? I think if it happens, they probably will do that. Drew Brees has come out and said uh, his priority, the team's priority, should be to do what they can to keep everybody there. We're talking about guys like Marcus Colson, Carl Nix, um, several other big time guys who've played very well for the Saints over the years that I'm sure Drew Brees wants to see stay in, in house and be rewarded for all they've done. He is the kind of player that would do that. Now, again, at the same time, he is a guy who does want to maximize his ability right now in terms of getting a deal done. So that's what I think some of the tough, you know, tough, the reason it's taking so long, I think it goes back into that. It, you know, he's a guy who, his heart is, let's keep this team together. I think we can win a Super Bowl next year. Um, his mind, maybe his brain, maybe you know, the, I mean, his the bank account yeah. <laughs> uh, may feel uh, you know, slightly differently. Yeah, he's been the ultimate team guy with that Saints. They've really come from nothing to where they are now with him and Sean Payton. Figure eventually you're going to get it done. He's such a good guy. He's probably going to do it in a way to help the team out as well. That's what's going on with the Saints. You can keep an eye on the Breeze situation throughout the offseason. Just subscribe to us on YouTube or go to ProFootballWeekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.